I'm Daniel Goleman, and I'm here to tell you that in making the Leadership Masterclass, I learned an immense amount from each of the people involved. Take Daniel Siegel. Dan has been studying the brain and how we relate and how we connect for many, many years. He's a psychiatrist at UCLA. And as we went through the emotional intelligence domains, and particularly the specific competencies, he really lit up. He lit up because he was seeing the underlying brain dynamics of the emotional intelligence model and why it matters so much for leaders. For example, the attuned leader is a leader who has the social brain very engaged. He's someone whose body is literally resonating with the bodies of others. He's picking up signals continuously, unconsciously, adjusting what he or she says or does so that it really works for the other person. These are the kinds of leaders whose words, whose actions truly resonate with other people, who really inspire them. Then there's the self-aware leader. This is someone who tunes into his or her own body, who can read their unconscious signals of this huge cognitive unconscious brain we have, which is constantly taking in thousands of signals, understanding them out of our awareness, but giving them, giving all of that information back to us when we need it to keep us on track, to help us make decisions, to help us know what our guiding values are. And Dan makes the case that the self-aware leader is really attuned to the body. So those were two very interesting insights. Then he went on to say the leaders who really are most highly effective have another integration in the brain. It's between right hemisphere and left hemisphere. Their right hemisphere is very tuned into the people they're with. Their left hemisphere is able to put that together with our goal, the linear thinking, the objective reality here, and integrate it in a way where they know how to keep us right on track. Music